so today we are going to discuss the chapter number 5 of our book the miracle morning and this is going to be about the five step snooze proof wake up strategy all of us want to wake up in the morning but we find it very very difficult to turn off the alarm clock and get out of our beds but the thing is we all love the feeling of waking up earlier we all want to wake up early but we cannot because we don't have that kind of motivation level to turn off the alarm clock but rather we just snooze it and we are kind of all snoozeaholics right so uh, when you are waking up from deep sleep it's so much easier to just snooze the alarm clock and wait for morning to get delayed then wake up at the exact very moment right so for this we'll be taking a look at the five step snooze proof strategy to make you guys wake up earlier a bit easier right so it is uh, we'll be dealing about increasing our wake up motivation level it is said that if you have a scale and um, from 1 to 10 and on level 1 we have the least motivation the motivation that will not get us out of our beds the motivation that will cause us to just turn off the alarm clock and go back to our deep sleep and level and to the level 10 motivation level which will get us out of our bed so uh, normally in our uh, daily lives we are at a motivation level of one or two when we when our alarm clocks goes go off because we we are just too, so tired after a whole day and we just want to delay delay waking up as much as as we can right so in, in order to increase your uh, wake up motivation level you can just apply I, I mean these are just some helpful techniques which you might find helpful for yourself as well so in order to uh, wake up wake you guys up earlier right so the first technique is uh, set your intentions before bed it is said that the last thought you had uh, before sleeping is the is going to be the first thought you will have will be having after waking up right so if you if the last thought that you had was that i'm going to get only a six hour sleep or i'm going to get only a four hour sleep and i'm, I'm going to feel tired when I get up so you will feel tired when you get up and that feeling tired will make you fall asleep um, even more easily right so you need to set your intentions you need to tell yourself that no matter how many hours of sleep I get I will be feeling good I will be feeling energized I will be feeling active when I wake up right so for that purpose you can, you can visit a website uh, the miracle morning book.com and it is having some important bedtime affirmations which you can repeat to yourself and th those motive affirmations will um, develop in you a feeling of um, uh, motivation a feeling of uh, good intentions and when you wake up you will be feeling good about the morning so this technique alone will increase your wake up motivation level from a level of zero to a level of one or two right the next strategy is going to be so these are the affirmations which you can read before sleeping and these will help you have a positive outlook you can uh, take a screenshot from here as well or you can visit the website and you can find all these affirmations there as well so the second technique is going to be about uh, moving your alarm clock across the room uh, it is so easier to turn off the alarm clock when it is just right next to you on the bed or on the side table but it is way more difficult when it is present across the room so when you have to get up and go across the room to uh, uh, turn off the alarm clock then it 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 already just wakes you up right it already just increases your motivation level from a level of one or two to a level of three or four right now that you have gotten up now that you are moving your body your uh, motivation level is already increasing because motion creates energy right so the second one is to uh, place your alarm clock or your cell phone on which the alarm clock is being set to uh, across the room at a place where you will have to get up and walk to reach your cell phone or your alarm clock right so that's another strategy so the third strategy is going to be about brushing your teeth uh, after you wake up and you turn off your alarm clock just head directly to the bathroom and start brushing your teeth and uh, after brushing your teeth your motivation level will be increased to a level of four or five right so now from a level of zero you're having a wake up motivation level of four or five so number one was what to setting your intentions before the bed number two was to uh, move your alarm clock across the room number three is to brush your teeth right it will make you feel fresh right number four is about drinking a full glass of water after uh, getting up from a deep sleep we are mostly dehydrated so first thing in the morning that you should do is to drink a whole glass of water to rehydrate yourself from uh, that seven or eight or four or five hours of sleep right so drink a full glass of water and most of uh, most of us feel fatigued not because we are uh, we are low on sleep but because we are low on water so whenever you feel fatigued whenever you feel tired just drink a whole glass of water and that that is a that is a one of the things you will be doing right after you wake up right so right after you brush your teeth drink a full 
full glass of water that is the fourth strategy number fifth is going to be getting dressed um, in your workout clothes if you if uh, if the first part of your miracle morning routine is to work out or if you if to exercise and now exercising is the first thing in the morning is the best thing i mean that will literally uh, wake you up and that will literally you can say freshen you up but some of us don't feel like doing it the first thing in the morning so you can just uh, go up to the second uh, strategy that is to jump in the shower like take a light shower and that will uh, alone make you feel fresh and make you feel a bit more awake right so uh, number fifth step is to um, getting dressed up in your workout clothes and start exercising or jumping in the shower and getting a light quick shower right so both of these will increase your motivation level from a level of 0 to a level of 6 or 7 so let me repeat all these uh, steps for us five steps nose proof wake up strategies so number one is setting your intentions before bed actively set your intentions you need to do it right number second was to move your alarm clock across the room so that you'll have to uh, walk uh, to that place and that will you know wake yourself wake you up a bit and then uh, uh, quickly go to the bathroom brush your teeth drink a glass of water after you come back and then start exercising or start taking a shower so all these steps will help you wake up in the morning and after waking up now that you're up you can practice all those uh, 60 minute six steps um, techniques i have already shared with you so best of luck with getting up earlier and taking a full control of your day and subsequently your life so thanks for watching and subscribe the channel like the video if you liked it